morning. My name is Kramer Wetzel. This is for AstroFish.net. This is the weekly fishing guide to the stars. Welcome, one and all. We're coming to you live from a cheap hotel in Chicago. I think I'm in Chicago. I'm not sure. This is for Monday, August 26, 2007. What do the next couple of days look like? Woohoo! We have got a filling out moon. Probably going to be a full moon. Going to just kick everybody's little backside. And we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Got that? This is good news. We're looking forward to this. At least I hope you're looking forward to it. Problem is this full moon is going to occur in Pisces. That means that the sun is in Virgo. And they're going to be opposite each other. And this is a very mutable, very full moon. You're going to feel the effects of this. Now, to take this one step farther, a couple of days after the full moon is the best time to go fishing. My plan, as of this Monday morning, is on Friday I'm going to be down at the coast fishing. I'm not sure that's going to work out, but that's the plan as of right now. And that's what I'm looking forward to. It's a matter of finding something that you can do with this full moon. In realizing that this next five days, let me get for the next five days, we got a chance to do something with this with this full moon. Put it to good use. Find something that you really enjoy doing, and do that thing. That's what this is about. That's what this is all about. It's a matter of taking that energy and putting it to the correct good use. Look, Venus is backwards right now. It bodes no well for interpersonal relations, like relationships, like boyfriends and girlfriends. It looks like that's going to be a problem area. How much of a problem area is how much you let it be a problem area? How much you let this get to you? How much you let this get under your skin? How much you let somebody's mistake? You know, I guarantee I'm going to say, I said something this weekend that irritated somebody. I'm just sure as can be about that. And I didn't know it at the time, and I'm very sorry that the way I... Put that information out there irritated you, but this is one of those things that happens when Venus is backwards, and you got to get used to it. And it's a matter of dealing with the information as it arrives, even though it's not packaged in the manner that you want it to be. You'll notice that my hair looks a little unkempt this morning. I just crawled out of bed in the hotel, and I'm hoarse from talking all weekend. That's the problem. It's also a matter of saying this is what it is. This is the way it's going to be. This is what it looks like right now. And you know what, folks? This is it. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. I don't, I don't look good right now. That doesn't bother me. I'm getting the message out. I promised you I'd get you something up on Monday morning that's going to happen now. That's also part of what this message is about. Okay? Things aren't, don't look as good as they possibly could. It's a matter of dealing with it and saying that's the way it is. There's a mirror behind the desk here in the hotel. And you think I look bad on screen. You ought to see what I look like in that mirror. It's just awful. But that's also part of what this is about. And that's what this is. That's part of the message right now. With Venus being backwards, we can't do anything about that. Now, I'm going to jump in the shower and get everything nice and wet and pull my hair back in a ponytail and go hop on an airplane and go home. I'm going to be a lot better. You all think about that. Good luck. You have a good week now, you hear. All right, one other quick thing here. All right. In this hotel room, it's high enough up that if you look out the window over here, you can see downtown Chicago. Beautiful skyline. Gorgeous sight. I got up this morning and dragged the computer over to the window and I, I messed with the computer and I messed with this and I was going to, what I was trying to do is get it so that you could see, like, so I would have Chicago as a backdrop. Well, you know what? Maybe it's too early in the morning. Maybe this hotel coffee isn't that good. Maybe I'm not awake enough. It didn't work. Plain and simple. It just didn't work. And that's a great idea. Beautiful. I have a shot with, with like the skyline of Chicago as my backdrop. That's like a, a dream come true. Didn't happen. That's part of the point, too. That it didn't happen. You know what? I got up. I gave it a valiant effort. The camera on this thing's kind of weak. You do what you can with what's there. And it was a brilliant idea, but it didn't work out. I'm not really particularly heartbroken about that, either. But then, once again, I know that Venus is retrograde, and I'm really not going to worry about some of the details, and I don't look so hot in this picture. You know what? That's <laughs> just too bad. Now, seriously, good luck. Y'all have a good week now, you hear? <laughs>